Hi, good morning. Um, a few years ago, well, many years ago, a long time ago, Military Modelling magazine uh, would have an, a page written by Terry Wise, who's quite a well known war gamer, uh, most people heard of, uh, author of many a book, and he would contribute this uh, column every month called Observation Post which I used to look forward to um, immensely because it was the only, one of the only few uh, monthly magazines that you could get which had a bit of wargaming content. And in one of his monthly write-ups, he discussed the subject of flamethrowers in wargames. And he said that he would not, um, on ethical grounds, have armies of World War Two, World War One armies. Um, he, would, he wouldn't have flamethrowers as a weapon. It's a personal choice of his, um, and it's always stuck. It's always stuck with me um, because abhorrent as they are, are they no worse than any other an axe or a, a lance. Uh, so I was always had that in mind but the safe this this, this uh, the write up he, he would say he wrote that month it stayed with me for many a year and as I say it gets you thinking and you're painting away and so after my last video of discussing my Vietnam project uh, my friend I call my friend he's a very nice chap member of our community, um, Eric, who uh, goes by the name of Yankee Wargamer. He, ex-military man, he's done a lot of service for his country uh, and he can only be admired. And uh, I do like his videos and I do like the way he talks and shows, I remember he showed us around the, uh, the area where he lived. And he wrote to me, gave me a message saying that he has a side project concerning Vietnam but it doesn't sit right with him or he finds it hard um, he has reservations about the, the subject I think because his father served and all the, the guys through the military that he knew uh, there were links to the, the, the conflict throughout uh, and I can, I can understand um, his thoughts on the matter and it got to me got me thinking about the hobby of playing the toy soldiers because it is not reality what Eric's done that's reality uh, what my grandfathers did that's reality this is just a hobby and I think what I'm trying to say in a roundabout way is what is acceptable what is personally acceptable to you um, regarding periods of history that can be gained and others not. Um, I would, I would no more entertain the fact of gaming, war gaming Afghanistan or modern day Iraq. Falklands War, um, boys of my age, uh, a lot of them went, a lot of them didn't come back. Um, but then why should that be a, uh, an issue for me? Whereas I, I would probably gain, if I had the opportunity, to gain World War I. Um, certainly not the song, but um, because the, like, the gameplay itself, I'm thinking purely as a, a person who plays the Toy Soldiers. I can't imagine playing the song that would be a great deal of fun. Um, whereas the earlier war period, uh, there's more manoeuvrability. And the 1918, um, that would be more playable purely as a a game which give, would give you more opportunity to move stuff around the board. Um, is it an ethical thing? I don't see how it can be. I'd like to know your thoughts. Um, I've, I'm lucky the majority of people my age uh, haven't ever needed to be called to the colours. I think the closest I got to uh, bat battle or participating in the battle was in uh, 1983 in Benidorm 
where on a boys' holiday it really did kick off, and um, it's surprising the way things escalated. Um, but all joking aside, I've you know I, I hold people like Eric in the, the highest esteem. Um, I've got friends who, who served, and um, what would they think of me if I gained Goose Green or um, Kajaki? Um, how long do you give it before you start playing games concerning the period? I mean, I played World War II quite happily, and yet my, my grandfather's buried in Italy and talked to my mum, and she can still remember the telegram and the reaction of my grandmother when she read it, uh, saying that he wouldn't be coming back. Members of my family have gone over there to see Granddad's grave. It's something I should do, and I will do. Um, buried outside of Assisi, I think it is, in Italy. Uh, it's, it, it, it's, 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 not, it's not something that bugs me, because I'm detached, I'm playing toy soldiers. Uh, but I do feel for the people who have done the, the ultimate, made the ultimate sacrifice. To me, they're just playing pieces. To us, they're just playing pieces. Let me know your thoughts on this. I'm intrigued. It's... Um, I understand Eric was thinking about the, the Vietnam conflict, Vietnam War. Um, yes, get back to me on this. I'd, I'd like to have an um, opinion of the community. What is acceptable or what is not acceptable to you personally regarding the hobby? Right, thanks for watching.